Great afternoon. Great afternoon. Hey, folks, this is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin here. And real quickly here, uh, headed to the gym, of course. I'm um, sorry about that, folks. So in this quick video here, I want to teach you the fastest way. What is that? I want to teach you the fastest way to be a communicator. Guys, give me a second. I don't know what's going on here. Give me a second. Okay. In this video here, I want to give you the fastest way to be a great communicator, okay? Hey, guys, what's going on here? Let's go! Let's get it! So, um, let me tell you a very embarrassing story here that I've never shared because I know a lot of you, you lack communication skills, right? It's just your inability to use words in a certain way to speak your mind or to express yourself. Can I get a yes? That's a bunch of you. And listen, I used to be that person. I'll never forget... When I went on a job interview, okay, and I went to get a job. Now, check it out. I don't know if you're guilty of this, but in my resume, I use certain words that would be more attractable to the interview person or to the manager, right, that I was interviewing with. So I was using all these big words, whatever, that I copied from the internet on my resume. I was in my 20s. And when I started to interview, they said, "Wow, we have a you have a very impressive resume, Wes." And I said, "Oh, thank you. I appreciate that." Right? And when I started to speak, like five minutes in the interview, true story here, the manager said, "Well, everything looks good, but you know the problem is the words that you're utilizing." In your resume, when you speak, it's not aligned. <laughs> and I was embarrassed and I didn't get the job. So from that moment, I decided to learn how to be a great communicator, okay? And what I want to do in this video real quickly here is give you very simple things to learn how to be a great communicator fast. Because listen, this is the one thing that I share with my children. I say, you know, it's not important for you to be... Um, uh, you know, to go to college and graduate. It's not important for you to get the best job. It's not important for you just to uh, be the best academia person on the planet. But what's very important is your ability to communicate very effectively, okay? Because people, unfortunately, are not able to do this. Now, listen, one, and this is important, listen to great communicators, okay? That's what I did. So for years, I will listen to great communicators. Now listen, I know what you're thinking. Well, Wesley, I don't know anybody outside of me that knows how to communicate well. All I know is Pookie and Ray Ray, <laughs> your friends, right? I only know my mom and my daddy, and they use the word ain't, all, uh, whole, uh, what, uh, right? So, <laughs> so listen, let me share something with you that I did. Because obviously, I wasn't around great communicators as well. So I use YouTube, the internet. And what I would do, you see these AirPods here? I would wear them every day, all day, even at work. And I will listen to great communicators online. People like Les Brown, Tony Robbins. Um, like now, I listen to Jordan Peterson. Um, I listen to Houghton Bugs. Uh, I listen to Dennis Waitley here. So anybody that communicated in a way that I want to communicate... I will listen to them. Now, listen. Many of you may say, well, Wesley, I listen to these people. Now, the fastest way for you to truly assimilate the dialect, the tonality of these individuals is just to listen and don't try to consciously understand what they're talking about. Because understand this. They may use words that you're just unaware of. Right? They may speak in a way that you don't understand. But it's not important. Let me tell you why. When you were little, when you were a child, Okay, You didn't learn how, I mean, you didn't consciously teach yourself how to use the word ain't. I ain't doing that. You didn't consciously learn how to use the word foe instead of for, right? Does that make sense? You didn't like consciously learn that. Just of the environment that you're in, the people that you speak to, the conversations, the dialect that is used within that circle will you tend to communicate like that, okay? So when you're listening to great communicators over and over again, like right now, if you see in my car, I'm listening to um, what I do every morning. 
I, I listen to words. These are 20 difficult English words here, right? Because what I'm doing, and that goes to number two, is I'm always adding more words to my vocabulary. It's important. Let me tell you why. The average person knows less than 500 words in their language, okay? Especially English. 500 words. If you went to college, maybe 1,000. If you have a PhD, maybe 3,000 words, right? So what, is, what it means is the average person doesn't know more than 500 words. So when you say, well, I just can't find the words. You ever said that? Well, I just, well, I know what I want to say, but I can't get it out well because you lack words. Okay, <laughs> that's it. I mean, you lack the tools. The tools is the words, the, the necessary vocabulary for you to speak and to express yourself, okay? So every day, learn new words, at least five to 10 words a day. And like I said before, don't work so hard on consciously trying to remember this stuff. Through the repetition, listen, through the repetition and the repeated efforts of listening to this over and over again, you will tend to speak this way very naturally because you have to understand the power and the faculties of the subconscious mind. The, sub the subconscious mind is able to learn faster than you consciously here, okay? Now, last one, because I got to go to the gym. Last one, last but not least. While you're doing this, while you're listening to these great communicators every day on YouTube, on your audio CDs, right? Learn new words, okay? It's important for you to limit the amount of time that you spend with Pookie and Ray Ray. Now, Pookie and Ray Ray and Rashonda, well, that's the people that you're comfortable with, right? Like your mom, your dad, you know, your cousin, your cousin Roy, nephew, whatever. These are the people that you're very comfortable with, okay? You know, you laugh and you joke with these people all day. But listen, for this to work fast, you have to limit the amount of time that you communicate with these people, okay? You have to limit because you're going to have a conflict of communication. Because understand, how you are right now, it probably took 20, 30, or 40, or 50 years for you to be that way, to communicate that way. So if you want to change it, fast, you have to separate from them. So that means that if you talk to Rashonda, uh, and I'm sorry if your name is Rashonda, I, I apologize Rashonda. I'm, I'm not talking about you, Rashonda. I'm talking about the other one. So listen, if you spend a lot of time uh, talking to these individuals, which is in your comfort zone, well, you may want to limit to a couple of minutes a week, right? Because for you to really change the way that you speak, and I did this, listen, it didn't take that long for me to change the way that I speak, my tonality, my dialect, even my rhythm on how I speak to you now, right? It works and it would naturally come out because I separated, okay, for a short period of time, those people that spoke in a way that I didn't want to speak. So that's it. I'm done. Smash the like button. Watch this again. If you want to be a great outstanding communicator, you have to listen to these type of people. And you don't have to be around them physically. You can listen to my videos over and over again, like now, right? Because the more you listen to me, you will naturally start to speak this way and it sounds better. It's nothing better than a person that can express him or herself. Does that make sense? So I'm done here. Smash the like button if you got any value as well. Uh, also, go to Wesley Virgin on YouTube if you want more videos to communicate better because, man, I'm living my best life and I want the best for you. And listen, never give up, never stop, never quit. It's possible and I always remember it's happening. I'm looking for a parking spot right now. It's happening. So remember, I'll leave you guys with this. In life, you don't get what you want. You get what you picture in life. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. In life, you don't get what you want out of life. You get what you picture. Picture the better life now, where you are. Much love. This is Wesley. Billion dollar version. Let's go. Motivated. Dedicated. Let go. Ah.